Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over the passbook. Passbook is broken down into two sections, this upper section, which is for Apple Pay, and the lower section, which is for store cards, such as, you know, CVS or Lowe's or Walgreens or Kroger's. And I'll show you how some of that works here in a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to start out with Apple Pay. All right, so what we have here is basically my Apple Pay card. Okay, this is the one debit card that I have in, installed already, and this is what the back of it looks like. I can remove the card, or I could contact uh, USAA, or I can go ahead and say open. This is actually opens the app itself. What you do is you go into settings, then you go into passbook and Apple Pay, and then the second option there, it says uh, add credit card or debit card. So we're going to go ahead and click there, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to click the little camera, and then we're going to have it take a look at my uh, credit card. Okay. And you'll see it automatically took the name, uh, the proper spelling of my name, and it took the proper um, credit card number. And now what I need to do is uh, put the uh, expiration date. Okay. And then now what I need to do is put the uh, security code on the back. No big deal. And go ahead and press next. And basically, that's it. All you need to do now is read over the terms and conditions, and then go ahead and press uh, agree, and then press agree again. As you can see, the little spinning wheel right there is thinking. It's letting everything know. Now it's been completely checked out. It's good to go. And now I have two cards, and I have um, my debit card and my Visa. And as you can see by that announcement that just came in, I now have... Uh, added a, a new card. All right, from here, what you can do is you can uh, change your default transactions and you can um, change it from one debit card to another debit card, change your home address, change your shipping address, change your email address, and or change your phone. And if you would like to read more about your privacy, you can right there. Now you can see that both of those debit card and credit cards show up right here. So I can have the just click on just a credit card or click on just the, the, the visa. And if I look at the back of the cards, you can see all the different information about them. You can actually, the open is actually the app. If you have the, uh, the debit card or credit cards bank app installed, you can go ahead and just click open. It'll automatically take you into the app and allow you to manage it there a little bit. And then um, you can come down here and click that remove card and that will give you that option also. What I want to do now is I want to show you some different cards that I have. I have my Starbucks card, I have my CVS card, my Lowe's card, my Best Buy card, Walgreens card, and Kroger card. And um, these are just cards that you can have and uh, get from the actual apps that they're in the app store. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to install one. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to the iTunes store and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says uh, Apple ID. Click on that. You're going to go ahead and say view Apple ID. And you're just going to scroll down a little bit and see where it says iTunes Passbook. Add iTunes Pass to Passbook. And it's going to pull it up so that you can see what it looks like. And then at the top you can cancel or you can add. When you press add, that's exactly what it's going to do. It's going to add it to the store, then it's going to go back to where it was just now. No big deal. You can just go ahead and press done. Now what I want to do is I want to show you how to share a passbook card. All you got to do is in the bottom left, have the card pulled up in the bottom left, click the share button. If you want, you could share via airdrop or messages or mail. I like to use airdrop when a person's right beside you. All you got to do is just click on their name right there, and it says that they'll, it will be waiting for them what it looks like when you receive a passbook card. Now, all you need to do from here is just go ahead and take a look at it, make sure that's what you want, and go ahead and press accept. It will automatically be added into your uh, passbook cards, and then if you want, you can take a look around just to see what it says and this, that, and the other. And if you don't want it, you can go ahead and press delete. Do is I'm going to show you how to add a passbook card into the passbook app from with inside a store app. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Starbucks and we're going to navigate around wherever it's at inside the app. For Starbucks, I'm going to show you how to do it, but every app is going to be different. In Starbucks, we're going to click on pay at the top left, then we're going to click on manage in the bottom right, 
And then right there in the bottom right, it says add to passbook. So I'm going to click there and it's automatically going to add my card into the passbook once I press add. And that's it. I'm officially in there. I'm good to go. No questions asked whatsoever. And if I want, I can navigate over and take a look at my Starbucks app. And there it is. Okay, this concludes the class for today. I hope you got something out of it on the Passbook app and have a good day.